weather forecast, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, we're looking forward to it. It's, uh, what, what sort of effect is the, not only the cold, but maybe field conditions later in the night if it stays getting colder? Our field, our field is pretty good because it's got the, you know, it's got the heating elements in it, so it stays pretty good. I mean, that's not a problem. Uh, you know, it's the cold air that's going to affect the balls, um, you know, the ball flight, the wind. Uh, that's going to be a big factor on special teams. So, you know, we've been we've been talking about it all week, practicing out different, you know, practicing different scenarios and uh, different game plans for different things. Do you know it's going to be the stadium cold. to do some reps? Yeah, we're going to go up there today. Okay. Yep, we'll, we'll we'll practice here and then we'll take the kickers up. You know, and, and get a feel for the what the field feels like, and you know, and wind and stuff like that. I mean, right now for today, but it's going to be. I mean, today is like nothing compared to what we're going to get. You know, if we're going to go outside today. It's going to be thirty or something, but I mean, eight is different. So. You know, it's going to be cold, but how much can you predict the other elements that really factor in as far as the wind and just? Yeah, the, you can't really. I mean, you can guess. You know, and. and Think about if you're going to get right to left, left to right, or end to end zone. You know, you, you think about different scenarios, and that's what I was talking about. Um, you know, and then you have different game plans and different things that you want to do, and punt return or kickoff, and you know, so it's it's kind of an exciting game, you know, for special teams too. At the same time, so what, what kind of like weather reports do you look at the <laughs> Just a variety, you know. I mean, they're not not particularly one. You know, I just look at, you know, they're they're pretty close, you know. <laughs> The but you know, they're always wrong, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> Harrison was telling us a couple weeks ago that he's got an app. He's always looking at the wind and stuff like that. Bucker, is that what you said? Bucker? Did yeah. you say? Yeah, he's you know he's he's always going to be on top of it. So I mean, if I bring something up to him, he already knows about it. You know that's for sure. What do the Dolphins look like special teams wise now, personnel wise, than they looked before? Because they've had a lot of injuries. You... Actually, a lot of the same guys. I mean, I, now they have they, had, they lost a few guys. You know, this past week, but um, you know, coming into this that last game. It was the same, you know, when I was looking at them ahead of time. Uh, a lot of the same, a lot of the same bodies. So, uh, but now, you know, there's a lot of question marks. How they're gonna, what are they gonna do? They gotta have to bring some guys up. Obviously, they, you know, they signed a couple of guys, but those guys won't play special teams. They'll be playing on defense, and then, you know, it's a matter of who, who's gonna come up on the practice squad to play special teams. So, and those are unknowns. They gave up a long punt return in the game on Sunday. They did. But is that it? Took it from the fit four. They caught it, caught it at the four and took it out. Yeah. It was crazy. Is that something that's characteristic of them, or was that just an absolute bust on their part? Excuse me. Uh, have they been a team that's allowed uh, punt returns, or they, was that a, a? That was that was. I think it was a one-off deal. I mean, they it was a he out, he kind of out kicked his coverage. I mean, it wasn't a pooch area punt. It was a regular punt, and he kind of drove it down there and gave the guy a lot of space. Um, and he just hit it up the middle. They, they had two guys collide and knock two guys down, and one guy got hurt. Fifty-three got hurt on that play. Um, and then you know they just he just hit him with the with the middle return. It was a you know obviously it was a big play in that game for Buffalo, huge. I think that really changed the whole tempo of that game. What did you need to see on your fake punt? On what did we see? What did you need to see to call it? Uh, you know we have we come into uh, every game with two or three punt uh, fakes. You know in every game and and uh, the situation. You know we were kind of. Uh, you know, we weren't getting things going on offense and fourth and five, midfield. You know, and then the play before, Coach Hill said, hey, we're getting the look that we want. You know, my assistant, Coach Hill, and I said, okay. And, you know, and then it came up again. And, you know, in, in that type of game, we were aggressive. You know, I said we were going to be aggressive in that game. Uh, and we did it. We called it, and it went. It was, they executed it well. P. Ryan did a good job and got the first down, kept the drive going. We didn't get a touchdown, but we got a field goal out of it. So. It was worthwhile. Dave, with the defense playing as well as it is, do you can you see any sort of broader philosophical shift in how the complementary phases of your, your? I mean, the main thing that we got to do is be sound, keep making our field goals. Um, you know, don't don't do crazy things, but um, you know, we we need to be solid. You know, and, and with with that combination with our defense, you know, we'll be in every game. It's a lot like we did at Chicago. We did the same thing at Chicago. And it, some of that emanates, I guess, from where the way the offense is playing too. I mean, the, the yeah. offense knows not to need to push things. Well, that might have. I think um, one thing that we have learned this year is that a punt is okay, and I think even Pat said it. You know, it's okay to punt. You know, and play with our defense and, and special teams. So was that shocking to hear, Pat? Yeah, <laughs> it was. Not not shocking, but I mean, he's. You know he's he, he's kind of he's a he's very smart he's a fo football smart guy he understands what you know you know the, the big, big picture.
Coach, when you get to the postseason, I mean, you, you save a couple of picks, you know, every every week. That if the look is there, maybe you'll do it. Does that change in the postseason? Do you have to be more conservative, more aggressive? I mean, how does that operate? It depends on you know the game. It's game to game. It's how your offense is moving the ball and. You know, if you need a spark and, you know, all those things. And, and you try to be unpredictable, too. You can't say, well, this is a perfect time for a fake. And they usually are ready for the fake. So, you know, you have to be a little bit unpredictable, too, at the, too, at the same time. But you always have fakes, you know, and they will, too. Is the uh, distance, I know as it gets colder, the ball travels. But yeah. The colder it gets, the less it travels? Is less it, it travels, no it? question. Um, you know, if you got a guy, he's maximal, uh, he – uh, maximally hits the ball kickoff wise five deep that ball's coming down at the goal line you know for sure so i mean you're, you're talking about getting returns you know and that goes both ways it's hard to it's hard to hit touchbacks when you're you know you're hitting into the wind for sure in the cold weather that's another five yards off so are there any numbers do you have any studies about like catching the ball like i know everybody moves slower when you get that cold to get more likely to see some muffs and fumbles uh I hope not. I hope that's not the case, but um, well, not your side. No, there, the other there's side. more. There's more. More chance of getting the ball in your hands, you know. And, and uh, you know, we call it return season. I say it's on now. I mean, this is full blown uh, return season. Thank you. And cover season.